Hello members of the AMSI community, parents, carers and students. Um, as you probably know, my name is Mr McLaughlin and I'm Deputy Head here at AMSI and I'm uh, here to talk to you about attendance to school. Um, the first thing I'll say is that we know over the past two years COVID has really severely interrupted our young people's attendance to school. Um, in the most basic form, you know, they've been ill, they haven't been able to come into school um, but also I feel our students young people in general have really got out of the habits of coming to school on time and regularly in light of this the government has introduced some new guidance uh, for schools to follow um, with regards to attendance and I just wanted to talk to you about some really pertinent parts to this uh, the first thing is that the government now is looking at um, students' attendance and they really want us as schools to track them. Um, so our expectation is that our students are in school every day. Um, our minimum target is that the kids have a 95% uh, plus attendance to school, which equates to about eight days out of school across the school year. Um, if attendance drops below this point, we will be looking to intervene and offer support to students and families. Um, the next important step is what the government would call persistent absentees. And this is when students have uh, attendance of 90% or less. And this equates to about 19 days across the school year. Good attendance to school is of course really important because we want our young people to um, achieve. And quite simply put, the more our young people are in school, the better their attainment will be at the end of uh, year 11 when they do their GCSEs. Also, there's lots of evidence out there to support that uh, regular attendance to school uh, increases um, happiness, um, young people's well-being and mental health um, and stops them getting involved in antisocial behaviour uh, outside of school. As a school there are certain expectations and certain things that we will need to do with regards to students attendance. We expect good attendance, we expect our students to be attending every day. We will monitor our students attendance if we see an issue, we will, of course, make contact with you uh, as parents or carers and talk to the young people. We will listen and we will understand any issues or barriers which are stopping the young people attending school. If required, we will facilitate support for the young person. Um, we have a strong welfare team and an attendance manager who are there to support our young people in getting into school. If required, we will formalise support. So that might be working uh, with the local authority to ensure students are coming into school. If all else fails, we may have to enforce, and this is going down the, uh, the legal route um, where um, court cases are brought against parents or carers for poor attendance. This is quite extreme and it's not something that we do lightly because it's a stepped approach for a reason. But we really need to be seeing our young people in school regularly and on time. The school day begins at 8.40 from September. One of the other really pertinent pieces of information that came from the government is that all schools will legally have to close their registers 30 minutes after the start of the school day. So in this case it's at 9.10 a.m. This means that if students arrive after this time they will not receive a late mark, they will receive a U or unexplained absence which is an absence mark. So it is really, really important that our young people get in those good habits and get into school on time because persistent lateness 
will be treated in the same way as persistent absence. We understand, we live in London, that there are issues with uh, transport where there's road closures, emergencies, um, and with that we will of course take a common sense approach. When we know there are issues that have occurred, we will um, make allowances for young people's attendance. But these are few and far between. Um, heavy traffic is not an acceptable excuse for being late to school. We live in London, there, there is a lot of traffic there. Uh, we expect our young people to be able to plan their routes, leave in good time to get to school. Um, if they arrive early, we have breakfast clubs and we have homework support which they can um, access. If there are any issues um, or things that are getting in the way of our young people attending school regularly and on time, we would really, really like you to speak to us. Um, this can go through to the head of year, uh, the attendance manager of the school, Miss Warner, or our head of welfare, um, Miss Morgan, so that we can look to support um, to improve our young people's attendance to school. The end of term is always very busy in schools. I know it's obviously very busy for you as parents and carers as well. However, it's really important that from September we hit the ground running and we ensure that our young people are in school regularly and on time. If you have any issues or queries, please do not hesitate to contact myself, any member of the pastoral team, to see how we can support our young people getting to school and fulfilling their potential. Thank you.